Deathstroke 34, which is uh, Christopher Priest writing and Carlo Pugalain on the art. Um, I never read the last issue because I ran out of time and I never went back and read it afterwards. So I, I have not read this issue either. Uh, I've, I've basically dropped Deathstroke um, uh, just kind of through I wish, not wanting to. I wish it. I could be in your shoes, but I have to I have to complete it to the end of this run, to the end of this, this arc. That's and then nice I think fun. I'm done. Yep. Um, I, I, I enjoyed this issue more than I have the last couple. I thought it, it, it felt a lot more focused. It had uh, a direction. So what this is is essentially Slade comes to Wayne Manor. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't know that Bruce is Batman, but he knows that the, 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 the Batcave is below the manor because of, you know, he's, he's done some detective work and he's figured it out. Yeah, and, and normally I'd have issues with this, but you have to remember that the Deathstroke procedure also enhances his intelligence yeah right yeah and and of course you know we we know publicly there's a link between bruce wayne and batman that's you know a, right. everyone knows that so yeah it's not a, a million miles to leap to that so he shows up and he's there and he's got the gun to his head and and bruce yep. is telling the kids to get out and oh. and deathstroke takes him down into the bat cave to have a have a bit of a tussle mm-hmm. but, uh, uh and, and so this takes place just after tim had died because yes. we get we get some uh we get an editor's uh caption oh yeah that, that, this is that, all going yeah. on i was like what are you talking about tim dying i was like oh all right okay i don't know what you mean okay yeah, miss yeah they, they found like a, a photo of, of all the robins that tim had in yeah. his possessions that video that we've been seeing the last couple mm-hmm. of issues ah, okay. uh, on that phone that was left in his belongings that it wasn't meant to be seen yeah. it was it was something they yep. found when he died and so now this is questioning what Robin actually means to Batman and that's where Deathstroke's just like well I started to piece it together that Robin is is Batman's son because of the way that he's going on about it yeah. and he's starting to piece together other things and of course Batman can't have that you know because he can't have this this guy ruining his whole thing so he, he's decided that you know he's going to put an end to Deathstroke in this whole charade yeah and and that's basically the issue. We get some fun stuff with Joey and his mom. Yeah. He's he's completely not okay with all of this going on. So, um, like he he kind of scolds her for trying to ruin the Wayne's life. So and she's just like, yeah, don't don't worry about it. We also get a flashback to what you know created Joey with his yeah. in the throat slit and how Adeline's always held him responsible. For all of this, yeah. So uh, th- there's know. a nice little uh, manner. I-, I assume it's Adeline who set this up. Is uh, she sent the the FBI after Bruce Wayne? Yep. Yeah, uh, to do with the you know the phone chip stuff from the from mm-hmm. a few issues ago, and they show up while uh, while Slade and Bruce are walking down to the Batcave, and yeah, you- you've got Alfred and Wintergreen outside being like, oh, you know, they'll talk it out. It'll be fine. And then and then the mm-hmm. FBI show up, and Alfred's like, is is this your guys? Are, are you right. doing this? And Wintergreen's like course not why, why would i do this um and, and nothing much comes from that this issue yet though that's going to be a uh, no. next issue because we actually get uh the back half the issue is mostly the fight down in the cave um yep they're, they're stood face to face uh it's it's just after slade says he knows that robin is, is batman's son and then right. the lights put out and they're both suddenly in costume old costumes death strokes in his old one because um because bruce exploited the icon suit right and bruce has just grabbed the nearest one off one of the stands that's mm-hmm. uh, you know on display down there. Bruce gets stressed very fast. I'll he say that does doesn't it? But so does Slade. Yep. To be fair, right? Uh, and then and Bruce, <laughs> yeah. But with Slade though, he could have been wearing that underneath the trench coat. He, he could. He could. That's, right. That's but anyways, <laughs> Bruce attacks him with bats, with the, from the bat cave, which I thought was fun. Yeah. Um, and he just he kind of does overwhelm Deathstroke. Uh, to the point where he's on top of him and has the upper hand, and then Slade's just like, you didn't even feel that. And the last page is uh, Bruce has a has a, a dagger in his gut, and Slade's next to him. Yeah, uh, they're, bo- they're both but, down. The FBI are coming in. Yep. But the best part of this is is next. This is the Defiant Ones, and Mari reads the results. So we'll, we'll get the the full explanation but i think after that i think i'm done with deathstroke i just this yeah, arc 
if if this arc was one that you know when it was double shipping, I feel like we could have got through it and it would have been fine. Mm. But the way that Priest tells stories, it deserves to be double shipping because he throws so much information out there. And I forgot like what's going on with Rose. Like we've been oh, away from fair. that. Yeah. For so long now since it started. I think when it know, shifted was... to single shipping, I like the defined stuff. That was interesting mm-hmm. and different. But once that kind of came to an end, it's, it's, it was starting to lose me basically from then. Um, which probably wasn't yeah. even that long ago in the grand scheme of things, but it feels like it was a while ago now. So. Yeah. Um, I, I do really like this issue, though. It's got a clear focus. The the fight stuff at the end is, is fantastically drawn. It's a lot of fun. It's really kinetic. Yeah. Um, it's it's really nice and uh, bright and colorful as well actually which i feel is something that you know between Destro and batman i i feel now it's 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 usually going to be dull and dark right and there are lots of shadows right. but but no it's it's all just the bright colors popping and um it looks great so i i, I have a lot of fun here yeah no it's fine i just i'm getting just wore down with Destro and of That's itself I'm, I'm kind so. of intrigued because i want to see what the the arkham arcs like you know with 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 slade being thrown in arkham that yeah. sounds really compelling, but I'm not sure what's between the two arcs that, yeah. that's maybe yeah. the concern. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if it was right after this arc, I'd, I'd just assume Batman wins, <laughs> and that's why that's why he's an Arkham. Yeah, but it's not. Is yeah. that's not start until like October? Unless it's like a weird thing where it's like we flashback for a couple of issues before the October, and it's like oh, this whole I mean, time. We could. This, yeah, this, I don't know. this book plays with timelines uh, enough. Just mm-hmm. a thought, I don't know. Uh, what are you rating it then? Uh, Go, Connor. I'll give it a seven point five. I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, uh, I'll agree with that one. It's I, no, it's Connor liked it more than me, so it's a seven. I'll go seven.